Hello, Tim here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about, well, actually starting a new series. I'm going to call it Crazy Woods. So it's woods that I collect and things that I've made some stuff out of and things I intend to make stuff out of, but all of it is inspiring to me. So I have quite a vast uh, amount of woods that I would categorize as crazy wood because it's, uh, it's not your typical lumber store stuff. And today I'm going to start, it out, start out this series with a, a what's called a vegetable ivory. It's a tagua nut. And tagua nuts are about this size. You can see by the uh, ruler on the bench here. And they vary in, in size and shape. Inside, there's usually a hollow space inside there, but this is as tough as ivory and it polishes up and it's sustainable. It's very uh, eco-friendly. And one time years ago, I had to reproduce some little tiny ivory knobs back in the day when it, uh, a lot of things were made out of ivory. Uh, it's not that way now, but back in the day, there was a, a chest of drawers, actually it was a, a gallery of small tiny drawers in a in a uh, antique secretary and I was missing a couple of little tiny knobs that were uh, uh, made out of ivory. So I cut, I cut up this nut here into smaller pieces and again there's voids in here so we'll get a close-up look you can see it in another shot here but when I turned Put, I chucked it in the lathe, I used the drill chuck, and I turned them down like this, and they broke. They're just so fragile, this broke here. So this one I was getting pretty close to being done with, and it snapped. But you can see, we'll do a close up here, but you can see that's the finished product there, that's one. And I didn't, I didn't uh, like the, the fact that I had a little dimple in the top there. This one turned out perfect except the tendon broke off a little bit, but it still would be usable. Now I could maybe make another little small jewelry box with little tiny drawers and, uh, and put those in it. But that's, that's what I've done with it, and that's what this particular nut is used for, uh, decorative stuff. And you're not going to make a piece of furniture out of it, but it sure does add nice accents. These Tagua nuts I got from a place in Oregon called Gilmer Wood Products. And they're not that expensive, they're, they're pretty, pretty cheap. So uh, I just love experimenting with, with all kinds of different things. And in a future video, we'll talk more about some of those other woods. So that's it uh, for Tagua Nuts. Stay tuned for other Crazy Wood videos. Well, thanks for watching and give it a thumbs up and see you next time.